Yes, I'm Irish. I went to a building site looking for a job. A big Irish fella came out. He said, we haven't got enough work for our own fellas. I said, well, I won't do much. <laughs> he said, can you carry the heart? I said, aye, but who's going to carry the bricks? <laughs> of course, I was in the Black Watch during the war. You know that. I was a colour sergeant. <laughs> Oh, I, I've done my bit. They tried to get me to join the Navy during the war. The fella said, can you swim? I said, why, have you got no ships? <laughs> I said, can't you use me on the land? He said, no, we've got special stuff for that. <laughs> <laughs> we had a tramp come to Thumbs, Jody. He said, no, they're theirs. <laughs> 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 I like that one. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I told you about the cat and the lunatic sound, didn't we? Hey, the fella knocking a nail in the loony bin in the wall. He's got the flat of the heads of the wall. He's knocking the point. <laughs> His mate had stupid. He said, why? He said, well, that nails for that wall. <laughs> I was Tell Rod his kneecap, said, hello, you. I said, hello. He said, if you can tell me what this is hanging out of my lapel, pass me kneecap, you can kiss me. I said, it's a cabbage. He said, that's near enough. No, 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 listen. My next door neighbour came out and said, Johnny, oh, did you hear about the fella? Did you hear about the fella sitting in the electric chair? And the warden said, have you any last requests? And the prisoner said, yeah, we owe me end. They <laughs> <laughs> said, no, you can't come in here, Peter said, because he was a cockney, you know, Peter. You can't come in here. Down there, stoking up. <laughs> he said, no, I, I gotta come in, I'm dead. He said, the only way you can get in here is if you've done something very brave on earth. He said, i done something brave. I married a white lady in a white man's church in Alabama with a Ku Klux Klan standing outside. <laughs> Peter said, that is brave. When did you do that? He said, two minutes ago. <laughs> she said, uh, have you got a light, Mac? I said, no, I've got a dark overcoat. <laughs> There was something I liked about her, but I couldn't put my foot on it. I said, are you Irish? She said, can you tell by the accent? I said, no, you've got your suspender belt over your jeans. <laughs> through to Ward C. Got through, said, Ward C, sister speaking. Said, could you tell me how Joe Green is in Ward C? She said, yes, he had his operation last week. He's having his stitches out tomorrow. He should go home the next day. He said, thanks very much. She said, who's calling? She said, Joe Green. No one told you a thing in here. <laughs> ah, you girls deserve your nights out, don't you girls? Yeah. You deserve a break from the routine of cooking and shopping and ironing, don't you, girls? Yes! Because these fellas tonight have no idea what you go through in these supermarkets. They're like animals in there, lads. I was down there this morning, summer market in Manchester, and I'm still queuing at the counter. There's women coming up, they're pushing me, they're prodding me, they're pressing their bodies up against me. I'm going down again tomorrow. <laughs> Hey, but all prices went up this winter. It could be Henry. I think so, yeah, yeah. I think we'll get back to the question now. Yes, it's a yes or no. Is there really a registered... <laughs> 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 
Sorry, Bob, there's no, there's no arm in it. <laughs> Is there a, a registered charity called the Escaped Prisoners Help Society? I think there must be. The <laughs> no, no, no! Listen! I've got to tell you this one. Oh, this kid? He kept staring at his missus. Come here, he said, listen here, pal, he said. Do you like women when they take the bra off? It's all jellyfish. <laughs> when they take the girdle off, it's... Oh, he said, I don't like women like that. He said, well, keep your eyes off my missus. <laughs> And it was these five mates going to this sauna, you know. Five of them for this sauna bath. And they all take the clothes off, and one's got a corset on. And they all start laughing at the other four. He said, hey, Charlie, he said, how long have you been wearing a corset? He says, ever since the wife found it in the back of the car. <laughs> Tell you what, with the cheeky round here out of Manchester, hey? Went into Burton's this afternoon. I said, can I look at the cheapest suit in the shop? He said, stand there, I'll bring you a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I was round there, I was in this pub in Salford, and this American came in shouting his mouth off. Little fella from Swinton stood next to him with a bag of potatoes under his arm. The American said, what do you got there, sunshine? That's the American. <laughs> Fella from Swinton said, these are potatoes. He said, potatoes? Well, I come from in Texas. We got potatoes four times the size of them. I said, well, I live on the ground to fit our mouths. Because <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I shouldn't be here. That little old lady, she goes into butchers. She said, how much did you fill it steak? He said, two pounds, 90 a pound. She said, I'm on pension, have you out cheaper? So I'll do you a favour, I've got some roast lamb in. She said, I'm a pensioner. Oh, cheaper. So I've got some whale meat in, 4p a pound. She said, give us two ounces. <laughs> she said, don't want 20 to make weight up. She said, I throw head in for cat. <laughs> Fella come on to me, he said, hey, there's a place up the road. 25p to get in. All you want to drink, and the woman run round half naked. <laughs> I said, where's that? He said, Salford Bats. <laughs> Did you like that one? Oh, I thought it was good. Did you about this? He said, I've got something... The mother-in-law comes from Liverpool. It's not like Liverpool. Hey, my mother-in-law's fat and ugly. You know what I mean? If Moses had seen her first, there'd have been an 11th commandment. <laughs> She used to work on a whaling ship. She didn't harpoon them, she jumped in and strangled them. <laughs> hey, she's fat. I took her to Spain last year for the holidays. We'd only been there a day. She came up and said, I don't like this place. I said, why not? She said, the men, she they keep coming up and pinching me bottom. I said, they do that with all the women in Spain. She said, what, with pliers? <laughs> My mother-in-law, she's always shouting at me. My mother-in-law. The ugliest woman you've ever met. She's got a nose two foot long. Like and it's in everybody's business. At the wedding reception, she sneezed twice and cut the cake in half. She put snuff up her nose with a snooker cue. The fat end. I took her to Safari Park last week. Safari Park. And she got out the car in the car park and three fellas threw a net over it. <laughs> Can you imagine two teams from Dublin on University Challenge? Nine weeks, nil-nil. <laughs> and they always give the names, have you noticed? Went to America, got off the plane, walking down the sidewalk, New York City. Young lady came up to him. She said, uh, would you like to come home with me? He said, uh, Am I? <laughs> she said, $50. He said, uh, give you $200 if I can stop all night. She said, sure you can. Come back to her flat next morning. He said, can I come round again tonight? She said, another $200. Anytime, sweetie pie. 